In collaboration with Ref1 in schools, Airbus would like to introduce you to aerodynamics. Have you ever wondered why F1 cars are so fast? One of the main reasons is their shapes, which are designed to be aerodynamic. In fact, a lot of aerodynamic concepts come from an aircraft design, and an F1 car and an Airbus aircraft have a lot more in common than you might think. So what actually makes airplanes fly? It has a lot to do with aerodynamics. Let's look at the forces acting on a plane during flight. All objects subject to the Earth's gravitational pull experience a downward force called weight. So why doesn't this weight make our plane fall out of the sky? A very clever man in the 17th century called Sir Isaac Newton stated that a body in motion will stay in motion with the same speed and direction if all forces acting on it are balanced. So what happens on the plane? A plane that is cruising doesn't fall because there is an aerodynamic force called lift that acts in an upwards direction to counterbalance the weight. When the lift is greater than the weight, the plane flies upwards. So to keep a constant altitude in cruise, lift and weight must be equal. Take a look at the profile of the wing on our Airbus A320. Why do you think the wings are not flat or rectangular? Well, it has everything to do with lift. And talking about lift, much of this force is created due to the air passing around the wing's shape. The angle on the shape of our wing are specifically engineered to modify the airflow to create a lower pressure above the wing. The pressure difference between the top and the bottom of the wing results in lift, a vertical upward force. Inevitably, when our A320 flies through the air, it faces air resistance. This resistance is called drag. Part of the drag appears on the wing as a result of lift. This is what we call induced drag. Another part is created due to the bluntness of the whole aircraft and the roughness of its surface, which is called parasitic drag. Let's summarize. Our A320 is facing three forces, weight, lift and drag. Weight and lift are balanced, but now we need to consider the drag. According to Newton, without a forward force in cruise, the plane would actually accelerate backwards. This forward force is produced by the engines and it's called thrust. Forces are now balanced and we can make it fly. Going back to the F1 world, we can see all of these forces acting on a car. In this case, thrust is produced by the engines and transmitted to the wheels to move the car forward. For your F1 car, thrust is produced by the CO2 cartridge. Just like our A320, opposing the thrust, you'll find resistance, drag from the air and friction through the wheels from the ground. The key to your success is to find a way to minimize the drag on your car. Just a hint, remember what we said about the bluntness. In addition, the car, like our airplane, has a mass which creates weight. Opposing the weight, a normal force appears on the wheels. This is the same force acting on your feet when you walk. In the late 60s, F1 engineers understood that car stability could be drastically improved by adding wings. But whilst our A320 needs to fly, your F1 car needs to stick to the ground. So instead of creating lift like an A320, the wings on your F1 car need to be upside down. This reverses the direction of the lift to create a downforce. To summarize, the wings on the front and the rear of the car are upside down aerofoils, just like those on our wings. Enough about theory, let's talk about practical facts. Can you imagine how powerful downforce is? This force is so powerful that at high enough speed an F1 car could actually run along the ceiling. If the car were to slow down, downforce would reduce, and in turn, the car would plummet to the ground. Similar to the F1 car, our A320 has to go fast enough to maintain a constant altitude when cruising. As our plane approaches its destination, it reduces its speed and hence the lift in order to descend. Well, we've reached the end of our journey, and we would like to thank you for flying with us. We hope you found this video helpful and we look forward to seeing you on board again soon.
Want to find out more about career opportunities within Airbus? Please visit www.company.airbus.com careers.